Hello everyone, so this is uh, in continuous continuation to my video series how to put NC job on uh, high performance facility at IIT Kanpur. So I am going to show you how you uh, change the boundary condition in the case and generate the case file. Right, so this is the general condition that you, you are seeing. Then in cell zone condition you go and put, you can change. You can consider the fluid and you can put the uh, give the rotation here and for example here I have taken 2.62 but let me just close it and then you can put the boundary condition at uh, so here at walls so for example at bottom plate you can choose the boundary condition here stationary no slip and in thermal you can either choose the insulation or give heat flux so for example here you can put heat flux but i have put here constant temperature boundary condition in my problem that might vary and then similarly in the top plate okay so stationary no slip thermal okay close now what you can do you can you must give the reference value because uh, ansys calculates nusser number by considering these reference values right you change the reference value according to your problem statement now what you do uh, you can choose here so in the report definition what you do i'm going to show you something just if you want to create a new parameter you just create new what you want to record for example i want to record heat flux at the bottom so area weighted average new window will pop up just give any name flux and then here you change it to the wall fluxes then you change it to uh, total heat surface heat flux where at the so I'm going to calculate bottom and you just remove the report file report plot you just got this now here's one more thing so this was the parameter that I changed. Now you click here, you edit it, edit. So if you want to record it for different flow time, so time step are many. So you can record it at, let's say I'm recording at every 0.5 second. And you can browse and you can change the folder to the current folder, which is already there and okay. So similarly you can add so many parameters as many parameters as you need now you can go in calculation activities this you must do then only your so you put calculation uh, parameter to be saved at every 60 second flow time and you can change the folder where you are recording okay and then okay close now i'm going to initialize so I often do initialization that is hybrid initialization which is done here if you see this one and then you can run the calculation I am going to run it for very small number of iteration 1 and 1 y and I just want to and from here you can change the all the parameters that you want to record either you can select all of them by clicking here right or you can select like this and select like this by double clicking and then you can hit calculate so once you do so see and this is just because files all were already made there so that is why and let me just wait okay solution is done because i have run it for single iteration single number of steps okay now you can go into the file you can write you can write the case and data file in your MOBA X term right uh, no actually if you are using your own ANSYS software in your own laptop then you can just save it to your uh, laptop then you can upload it to the MOBA X term and uh, where from where you can submit the job on HPC but uh, you can just save the case file to your computer then upload the case file to mobile XTERM then you should it is advisable uh, you should run it on HPC initialize it just to check if your case file is running 
and then you can run it for this one iteration and then uh, you write the case file and uh, data file to your existing folder on Nova Extern and then submit the job on HPC. So thank you so much for watching the video. This concludes my video series on uh, submitting how to submit a job on HPC. Thank you so much. Do let me know if you need any uh, extra help or any confusion that you need to clear things up. Uh, so thank you.